Hi, welcome to the new Bucks Head for today's game between AFC Telford United and Harrogate Town. Telford, who currently sit fourth in the Skrill North League, face Harrogate just one place behind them in fifth place. Let's go and take a look at today's highlights. Well, the two teams are coming out. Telford all in white and Harrogate in their yellow and black strip. The familiar face of the blonde-headed defender Shane Killick leading out Harrogate. He was once club captain here at Telford when they got promoted two years ago under Andy Sinton. Well, Telford line up with Ryan Young in goal. The three centre-backs are Dan Preston, Neil Byrne and Simon Grand. The wing-backs are Baines on the right, left is McGinn. The three central midfielders are Clancy, who scored four in four, Benjamin and Barnett. The front two are Gray and Farrell. Harrogate lineup with Craig McGillivray in goal. Right back is Bloomer, left back is Merris. The centre backs are Franks and the former Telford captain Killock. In a five man midfield, Warsfold on the right, Brown, Woods, Boulder, and Nelthorpe up front is Hall. So it's all about Telford today. Let's see if they can continue their unbeaten run. But the referee glances around and gets us underway then. Telford kicking from our left to right, all in white, and Harrogate in their yellow and black striped shirts, black shorts and yellow socks. Good move here by Telford again. Gray heading it back to Clancy. Shoots! Great save by the keeper. McGillivray away to his right-hand side. It's a corner. And those are the areas that Sean Clancy will be expected to get into if they are playing in a, a three type of 5-2 formation. Clancy's going to have those runs where he can get into a pocket of space. Yeah. Throw in again, McGinn, nil-nil, in towards the six-yard box, headed away by Brown, but Clancy for Telford, who scored four in four. Feels that it was a handball against the Harrogate man, and Russell Benjamin's gone right through Warsfold. This could be a yellow card. And it's a red card. Russell Benjamin has been shown a straight red card. I'd have to see it again, but I'm, I'm going to say and put my neck out saying I'm not totally surprised that the referee has pulled out a red. Here's Nelthorpe looking for one last chance to attack the Telford goal away to our left. Telford calm in defence again, pick out Clancy in midfield now, turning defence into attack. Square ball by Gray. And there we go, the half-time whistle goes. And a good round of applause from the Telford faithful. To me, one of the better 45 minutes Telford have had this season. And I'm just keeping an eye here on the Telford manager, Liam Watson, who is going over to have words with the referee. He's been shielded and guarded away by two stewards, which may suggest that Liam Watson wasn't happy with that red card. Telford against Harrogate, second half just about to start. Telford kicking from our right to left in this second half, all in white. Harrogate in their yellow and black striped shirts, black shorts and yellow socks. So Harrogate have the ball down the left with Meris, one of the shorter players on the field here. Ball clearance by Preston in defence. That could allow Harrogate a chance here. Warsfold into Boulder. Boulder rise, two challenges, hits the post, followed in by Nelthorpe. And it's a mistake by Preston, making his first start, which has cost AFC Telford United at the moment. It's Telford nil, Harrogate one. And it's Nelthorpe on the follow-up who gets the goal. Well, how's your look? That's the question, how's your look? When it comes back off the post, where's the ball going to go? Is, are you going to get a little bit of fortune? Harrogate did. Telford just look a bit deflated here. That was a wayward pass by Grand going for a pass to, to his left wing. It went out of play. Grand's got to keep his discipline, pushing there Dwayne Samuels. And Samuels put his hand out towards Simon Grand. He can't do that, even if he's pretending that he wasn't meaning to do so. Now the referee must take action here against Dwayne Samuels and it's boiling over with Neil Byrne now going in. So we've had a couple of melees. We've already had one red card. Well, the referee's let him off. It's a yellow card for both Grand and Samuels. Well, Samuels uh, has been let off there. Well, I think set pieces are going to be crucial uh, because when you're playing with only 10 men, you've got to make... Good header. Maybe for Gray. Gray shoots and he puts it over. 
and he falls in the heap on the ground and holds his head. Well, it was a simple ball in down the right channel. Header was won by Farrell, and then straight away, Gray capitalising on some very flat defending from Harrogate. Got it onto his left foot, and he puts it over. He should have scored. It should have been an equaliser. It's grand. Bernie's up there. They've got height with Phoenix. It's a good ball in, up towards Grand, and he heads it wide. Baines looking for options. Down the line is Owens, but then a run by Booth. Comes short, back to Baines, who finds Owens down that right channel. Unleashes a shot, takes a deflection, hits the post. Great strike by Andy Owens. Had his back to goal, turned, hit it left-footed with the laces on his boot. Took a deflection off a Harrogate man. The keeper was scampering, and it hit the woodwork. Yeah. Telford have it on this left wing. Owens with Samuels, Owens falls to the ground, Samuels has got to be careful here, he's already got a yellow card and he looks a bit hot under the collar. Now Robbie Booth takes on the running for Telford, gets a cross in, Clancy over his head, falls for Barnett, shot is stopped, Barnett again, a double block, then in by Booth, saved at the near post. Three chances and still that wall cannot be breached. Well, you can hear the crowd getting behind Telford. They will be wondering how on earth they haven't managed to get at least back on level terms. Another really good opportunity there. Initially, when it broke to Barnett, his shot was blocked. Then it broke to Booth. Yeah. A minute and a half, I make it of normal time. No surprise that Telford have piled everybody forward, but Harrogate have everyone back too. Corner for Telford then. Towards the far post. Header! Just over! Oh, it's just shaded the bar that has from Neil Byrne. Good header, and that was very close to sneaking into the roof of the net. Sadly, it wasn't to be from Telford's point of view. Well, they may need uh, some more cover. They've got Martin Jackson out on loan at Stafford Rangers, and it's full time. Telford have lost. Simon Weaver, the Harrogate manager, punches the air. They will be right up there, Harrogate. They are a well-organised team with plenty of quality. But so are Telford, and they will bounce back from this. It's Telford's first defeat of the season, and they've lost by one goal to nil against Harrogate. We've had our best day, unfortunately. We've gone down to ten men um, with an hour to go, and it's it's so difficult when you've got ten men, especially with uh, playing against a good side like Harrogate. So um, we're disappointed that we didn't come away with any points, but we uh, we give it our best shot, and the fans helped. The fans helped, especially in the second half. They really got behind us and. We give it all. It was just unfortunate to um, to get beat by by our own mistake rather than being broken down. So, but on a personal level, it's been a good month for you and a good start to your career here at Telford. Yeah, it's been a good month. Um, would have liked to have carried it on today, but you know, it's it's we're not we're not going to win every game. But we've just got to make sure that we do give our best. So yeah, you know, we've just got to look on to Saturday now. Got Bradford Park Avenue away, so we'll uh, we look to pick up more points on on, on Saturday. We didn't try and shut up shop. We tried to have a go, and I actually think it's the best we played this season. So sometimes you come away and you've had a win, and you feel a bit deflated because you haven't played as well today. I actually, feel I feel good about it all, and you know, more than happy. The, you know, the level of performance we put in, and you know, we've just got to take that into the next game and. I said, your first defeat's always going to happen, and I, it's happened. So it's now it's just a case of you know how we respond and you know go to Bradford. And we've got to be nice and strong and physical, and you know come out with a, a good result. But like you said, there was a good response from the guys. Plenty of chances and opportunities, and, and came close on a number of occasions, particularly towards the end of the second half. Well, as I said, Gabe, you, you watched it, all the games here, you know, and and the games have come here. We haven't come away and said, well, he's Mr. Chance, he's Mr. Chance, he's. but today we have. So I think the I think the shape suited the team better. Uh, cert certainly suited the personnel. It's just a shame for Russ who's now going to miss three games. So Telford slipped to a first defeat of the season here with a one 0 loss at home to Harrogate Town. Join us again on the 21st of September when they take on Colwyn Bay, looking to get back to winning ways.